Welcome to the AR-12 setup tour of 2021. I haven't made a video like this since 2018 and since then a bunch of stuff has changed. For those of you who don't know, last year I actually moved out of my parents house and into this space. And ever since then, I've been building the ultimate gaming setup, sim racing setup, and so on for what I do here on YouTube and Twitch. And I've never actually shown it off to you guys in detail since I moved in last year. So that is what we're doing today. On a personal note, I've been doing this for a very, very long time. I actually started documenting my gaming setups all the way back in 2012. And it is so crazy to look where we started and look at where we're at now. So I hope you enjoy the tour around my gaming setup and the sim racing setup and maybe get some ideas for your own setup at home. Today is super Super exciting though because we are adding another piece to the gaming setup with our friends over at Apex Gaming PCs. For those of you who don't know, Apex Gaming PCs are just that. They build custom gaming PCs and they're the newest sponsor of AR12. So we have to welcome them to the channel with a little bit of an unboxing. So let's go slice open this massive box. This is gonna be my brand new gaming PC editing PC and so much more. How do I get this out of the box? Come on. Thank you. Our first look at the brand new AR12 PC. Let's check this thing out. Hello. Take a look at this thing. It is all glass. This is gonna look so cool. Let's do some ASMR. Oh, that was nice. And last but not least, we've got one more. Oh, that was too good. That's so cool. Say hello to the brand new AR12 gaming PC that I'm gonna be running every single day. We've gone with an AMD CPU, these awesome blue wires everywhere, nine RGB fans, and basically the entire PC is made of glass. It's gonna be so cool. I'm gonna get this guy plugged in properly in a second. I just wanted to check out all of those fans with the RGB and all of the RAM in there as well. So let's turn this guy on for the first time. And here we go. It's already booting up blue. That's so cool. There's all of the RGB. That is so cool. After I finally stopped freaking out about all of the RGB in the new PC, I had to get the Elgato capture cards in and we had to start it off with a 4K 60 Pro and then follow that up with an HD 60 Pro. I use these all the time, whether I'm gaming, recording stuff in real life or games from my camera, it's really important. After all of that, I got the PC installed under the desk where it's gonna live from now on and I've actually been using it for a couple of days and this thing, fly. So massive props to the guys over at Apex Gaming PC for sponsoring the channel. They make some really cool stuff, whether it be a budget build to play some of your favorite games or absolute powerhouses that you use to work. Apex Gaming PCs has something for everybody. And right now, if you go onto their website by clicking the link in the description down below, you can actually get 5% off any PC by using code AR12 at checkout. So massive props to these guys. Go check them out. Click the link down below. Anyways though, you're probably wondering about all of the other stuff in here, so let me give you a little bit of a tour. So if you've never seen one of my offices before, here's how they work. They're kind of split up into two smaller mini setups. We've got one section for my desk, computers, and all of that, and the other section is my sim racing setup. I'll show you all of the products I use and everything like that in a second. We've also got some other really cool things to show off, so let's get into it. Let's start off with the desk. Into the office we go, and right Right off the bat, you'll notice a big difference between my setup and the setups of a lot of other people. I'm not a fan of like these dimly lit rooms with like black or gray painted walls filled up with RGB. I love this more almost normal look, like white painted walls, regular floor and stuff like that. Anyways, let me give you a little bit of a tour of the desk. The number one question I always get is why do I have two keyboards and two mice on my desk? That's because I'm running not one, but two PCs. There was the Apex Gaming PC, and here is my stealthy boy that lives under the desk. 
these two PCs run independently from one another. They are two unique setups. So although I have three monitors on the desk, each one of them is run independently. So the one furthest on the left, that's for my Xbox Series X that's over there. The middle monitor is for the computer on the left and the monitor on the right is for the computer on the right. And yes, my monitor does have a rear wing. Another really common question I get asked is what camera I use? And this is it. This is an old Canon 80D that I've had for what feels like 10 years now. I would not recommend that though. We will come back to that in a second. Anyways, this is sort of mission control. This is the home base for all of the live streams and videos. If you've never actually seen the way these Elgato stream decks work, they are super cool, especially if you have some Elgato lights to go along with them because you can wirelessly turn your lights on and off with the click of a button on your stream deck. And the same thing goes for OBS. I can change all of my scenes super, super easily just by clicking the respective button on the stream deck, which is awesome. It makes working so, so much easier. I can even switch over to the sim racing setup, which has the Elgato face cam. That's the new Elgato webcam. We'll Come back to that, like I said. As you can tell, there is a lot of Elgato stuff in here. Everything from like the mic arm to the lights to the switchers and everything. They literally make what I do possible. And yes, 90% of the time, there is a cat sitting on the desk. That's sort of kind of everything I have on the desk. Let's jump over to the sim racing setup. And if you saw the video that I made not that long ago with our friends over at LG, they actually hooked us up with a bunch of this sim racing hardware, including this. LG OLED C1 TV, which is super, super cool. No joke, it is still the best TV I have ever used. What you don't see though is all of this stuff in the background. For example, the green screen that I use, you can actually close it up and pick it up, carry it over to the sim racing setup, and then just pick it up. And just like that, you've got a green screen. Anyways, this is kind of what I was talking about before. I no longer waste time moving that big Canon 80D over to the sim racing setup and taking it off my desk. I now just use the Elgato face cam because it looks just as good on live stream. No joke, last time I used it, nobody even noticed that I swapped cameras. Let's also talk about the sim racing stuff in a little bit more detail. So the rig that I'm using right now is a next level racing GT track rig that I can eventually put on a shifter or a handbrake onto the side. I don't actually have one on there just yet because I've been playing so much Formula One and a set of course and stuff and you you don't really need a handbrake or a shifter or anything like that. The racing wheel itself is also super, super cool. I can actually take off the rim and swap on another one that I like, whether it be a circular rim, a Formula One rim, or whatever it might be. The pedals are also fantastic. Literally, one of the best setups I have ever used. These are the things that you don't usually see though. My microphone that's actually sitting over my head during all of the live streams or recording videos. You never actually see that. The same thing for this monitor just off to the side. That gets used for Twitch chat so I can read what you guys are saying and see myself to make sure everything looks good. Okay, well, it's me, so ever everything looks mediocre. So that's actually what I'm looking at when I'm driving. There's kind of a lot of stuff going on. That's not all for the sim racing setup, though, because if I head out the door and we come to this, this is actually kind of like the landing in the house, but out here, I have another racing rig, so depending on what I want to do, I swap wheels in and out. You'll see that go on in the future. However, I also need your guys' help. On the side of the sim racing setup, I have this this area and I don't know what to put up there whether it be this picture frame filled up with a bunch of classic UK cars that were actually stamps in the UK which are super cool or should we put the YouTube plaque up there? I'm not sure, let me know in the comments. And last but not least, there are two more cool areas to check out behind the sim racing setup and behind the desk. This is area number one, the trophy cabinet that has some seriously cool stuff. So feel free to pause and take a closer look because there is some super rare stuff here. 
that you might not have seen anywhere else. A lot of this stuff I've collected over the years from companies that we've worked with. For example, I have a super rare Xbox controller that was originally only released in Australia to only a select few amount of people, and it's a grease-proof controller. It's super weird, but really, really cool. I've also got this really awesome photo of the GT350 that one of you guys drew, and it's living up here on the trophy cab. Not to mention there is also a ton of Forza Horizon stuff up here from a bunch of different games. And then off to the left of the trophy cabinet, we have this, which is my massive photo of the Nürburgring. Honestly, it's like six feet wide, which is really, really cool. And underneath that, we have this little cubby section, which is the home for a bunch of the stuff that I use every single day, like the AR-12 sim racing gloves. I've got a bunch of tools over here and some more Elgato stuff that I can toss into the computer super quickly if I need them for something. Again, you'll see more of this stuff in the future. It'll make sense, trust me. It's a little while away. So there you go. That is the AR-12 office tour for 2021. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it gave you some ideas for your own setups, whether it be you're setting up a desk or your sim racing setup. I hope it helps you in some way. If it does, don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe for more. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much to Apex Gaming PCs for sponsoring the channel. We'll have a a lot more of them in the future. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye!